Good morning children, this video is for anyone who's working in the Obelisk group. Before we start this learning, please do the Fluent in 5, support the video now and answer the questions. And here are your answers for today's Fluent in 5. Today's learning children, we are going to be telling the time using a 24 hour digital clock. Now, what I have here is a analog clock and an analog clock will determine, will only use a 12 hour clock. A digital clock will use 24 hours. And we're gonna learn about how we can convert an analog clock into a digital clock. But before we do that, we're just gonna talk about the analog clock. As you can see, this is an analog clock and it's numbered from one all the way around to 12. And that's because an analog clock will determine will only do 12 hours in the morning or 12 hours at, in the evening, afternoon. But we can determine whether it's in the morning or the evening by the way that we do our daily routines, have breakfast, lunchtime, dinner, if we look outside, if it's dark, if it's, uh, if it's light, then we know it's during the day, if it's dark, then we know it's during the evening. And as you can see, we've got these orange dots. And these are our intervals because in every hour there are there is 60 minutes. And each of these intervals are worth five minutes. So we've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So that will help us identify the the time that it is that is shown on the clock face. Now, when we write our times, we can be given times on an analog clock. So if it was 9.20 in the morning, we would write 9.20 on an analog clock like that. And we would put AM afterwards. This stands for anti-meridian. But what this means is that the time is before noon or midday, whichever way we want to call it. If it was in the afternoon, so this was at night time, 9.20 at night, we would put PM, and that's post-meridian, or afternoon or, after, or midday. This tells us that the time has gone past midday. But sometimes on a digital clock, it won't be written 9.20 PM, it'll be written in a 24 hour clock. Now to convert this to a twenty to a time representative of a digital clock, this is our hours. And what we do with the hours, we add 12 onto this number here. So we've got to do 12 plus 9. Now if we are to count on our fingers quickly, so we're going to add 9 to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So in digital clock. If it was 9.20 in the evening, we would write it as 21.20. And we wouldn't need to put anything afterwards because we know that this is the time that this is in the evening because of the how many hours we've got here. We know there are 24 hours in a day. So if the number is 12, if the any hours, if it's 12, between 12 and 23, we know it's going to be in the evening or afternoon. So that is going to allow us to identify whether it's going to be morning or evening. If it was in the morning and it was just on a digital clock, we would just have it as 9.20. We wouldn't need to put AM or PM. So we're going to look at today doing some questions using this. Now we've got on our analog clock here. These are two examples of analog clocks and these are two examples of digital clocks. We've got a clock here. We're going to look at this one first, A that says a time. Now to work this out, we're going to use our knowledge of, of clocks. Now on this clock here, the smallest hand is the hour hand, and that's the number we're gonna be looking at first. And on here, we've got the smallest hand is pointing at 10. So we're gonna write just next to it, 10, because that's gonna go into our, our how many, what our hour is. Now we're gonna look at the minutes. Then the minutes, it's currently pointing here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these go up in intervals of five. 
So we've got here, here is exactly zero. This is the beginning of a new hour. So we're going to put zero here. And we need to match which one of the, which one of the, this analog clock matches to which time. Now, as you can see, we haven't got written, we haven't got 10 o'clock written here and we haven't got 10 o'clock written there. We've got 2200 hours and 1115. To, be able to change this to an analog clock, that means we must add 12 to the, to the analog clock to turn it into digital. So we need to do 10 plus 12. 10 plus 12 is 22. So this clock matches to this clock. This also tells us that this is 10 us, that it's 10 o'clock at night time because we can understand we've, we've converted it into its 24 hour digital clock. Now the same here, this now it's quite obvious that B will match to D, but we'll talk about it before we move on. You see the hour hand has just gone past 11. We're always, whenever we're identifying which number is gonna be in the hours, we always look at the, the hours hand and if it's pointing at like we had here or pointing just after we always put in that number so we know this is going to be 11 and as i said earlier that we count these in multiples of five as you can see this is pointing directly at the three but we're not going to write three because that's just showing the hours we're going to work out the minutes by counting in fives five ten fifteen so that's eleven fifteen as it is put, mentioned there Question 2b says, choose number cards to fill in the 24 hour clocks with two times which match the analog clock. So we have a look here. We've got 12. Our hour hand has just gone past 12. So we know that we could put as original straight away that our 12 can go there. And then we can start counting our, our minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Our minute hand is pointing at 45. It's telling us to use these two of these digit cards to put into the right place. Now we said that it's 1245. So we know that we're missing the one from this 24 hour digital clock time. So we can cross that one off. Now they want us to put a digit in here. Now, as you can see, this has got zero, zero. The reason why it's zero, zero is that when we add 12 to another 12, it will give us 24 hours, but we never write a time 24, 20, 20, because we started a brand new day. So we always go, whenever the clock's at 23, 59, when the next minute changes to the next hour, it will read zero, 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 zero. But when we're always converting from analog to digital, only the hours will change. The minutes will always stay the same. So if it's going to stay the same here, if it says 45 here, it must stay the same. So it's going to be 45 here. So we can use that four there. So whenever we're converting, the only the hours change, never the minutes. So it says here now, which of these times is the earliest, which of these times is the latest. Now we can, we can see here, this is our 24 hour clock. And because it's out of 24 hours, if it's before 12 o'clock, we know it's in the morning. And because it says 10.15 here, we know that's in the morning. We can also see here that on B, it's got AM written in brackets. And we, if we go back up to here, AM, is before noon so this time is in the morning but let's work out what the time actually is to see if this is earlier or later than 10 15 so we go to the hour hand and as you can see it's just gone past nine so we must write nine in our hours i'm going to count up in multiples of five to see how many minutes there are so 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 9, 30 is earlier than 10, 15. So that's our earliest time so far. That's our latest. But we need to check what C is. Now, as we've said, 
we've really seen this question uh, seen this clock face already as we saw it up here so our hour hand is pointing at 10 and when the minute hand is pointing at its 12 that means it's zero so it's exactly 10 o'clock so our earliest time would be 9 30 and our latest time would be 10 15 because 15 minutes is 15 minutes later than 10 o'clock that's your video for today's learning so please now go to your task sheet and answer the questions best of luck